cool. Well, um, I've been writing music since I was about 13 years old. Motivation is talent, you know, because you have your, the motivation to work on your craft, therefore you get better at it. The hardest thing is like you create something, it's like a baby, you know, and then to be able to make that transition within your own ego to hand it over to people to workshop is massive, you know, because it usually comes from something so personal. Let's go they once so low on its humble throne I woke oh. It's been a really amazing evolution and learning curve of Let's trusting the musicians that I work with enough so and allowing them to bring to it their own emotion. In the arrangement side of things, it's like, how can you write something tasteful that shows off everybody's skill without it being them showing Said off. The scroll, salty diamonds, the day, true when you write in um, sections and then tie it together and that's how you can bring everybody's flavors together the well because something that someone wrote in their bedroom might the be the missing piece of three quarters of a song you've got over here. I mean, predominantly, I was raised on um, like Stevie Wonder records and stuff, which is why there's such a heavy soul element in the writing. You can listen to a flamenco record from the other side of the world and not speak Spanish and be able to feel the grief that goes into it. Try not to write music that you think other people will like because you're already selling yourself short. And what people really like is to be surprised. Sometimes if you have a formula, then it's too set and your music can become rigid. You know, the whole thing about art is that it's elusive and you never really want to get there. You have come here wounded, poor. If you can educate yourself sonically, you know, you have so much more to work with as far as your understanding of the way things interact, the way they work with each other. Mobius Streak, the chorus of it, I wanted to make the vocals sound like they'd been reversed without actually relying on a pedal, trying to emulate something that would be sampled but play it live. Some people feel like certain music genres belong to certain people, but the thing is, is people are just tapping into a frequency. And that translates all around the world. You know, there's so many similarities between like Rajasthani folk music and flamenco, and they might seem like completely polar opposites, but there are always these really amazing threads, even in the most like obscure of genres. I will follow you into the sunrise of the desert sky. We fly. Right I mean, we never thought we'd be Grammy nominated. We've been together for like three years. And you think you get used to all the crazy industry things and like your idols liking your music, but you just never get used to it. Um, and I guess that's because the intention wasn't to make it big, it was just to kind of make music. The track in question, Nakamara, that was nominated, I recorded the vocals in a tiny room into a mattress and I had to do takes in between trucks going past. <laughs> like literally. I <laughs> do. Nakamara. Sweet red earth will hold you like I mean, the industry in general has changed massively in such a short amount of time because of social networking. Because there's no barrier. You can directly have, you know, you can directly find your demographic with the internet. They may be 
we'll see in time. We have 100% creative freedom, like literally mixing it ourselves and recording it in a home studio because that's what works for us. Like people tend to think like once you've made it big and you have all this pressure, you have to like put all this money into working with hot shop producers. But it's like if people are already recognizing you for your art and what you do, like that's it. 10 years ago, you know, 20 years ago. Um, the only way you could get airplay or you could get people to hear your music is if you bribe a DJ, you know. And radio is still really important. You and I, honey, don't you know it sets our hearts to fire. So Nakamura is a skin name that was given to my friend Hannah, who was working in a really remote community in the desert called Kinto. As soon as you become too political with something and try and force feed an idea, people already shut off from it. So I guess I wanted to incorporate a tiny element of indigenous culture in a really positive way that is an invasive, I guess. The people, indigenous mob out there, are like some of the most warm, hilarious, like the humor out there is so beautiful. I just wanted to, um, without being too intense, showcase that lightness. Hannah, my darling, I will follow you into the sunrise on the day. You kind of keep working at something and it could be completely cohesive and it isn't until you get the last pieces together that you're like, oh, it's an actual song. Because we like to challenge ourselves so much, there's nothing specific that you can reference which is terrifying because of working with other musicians. It's just become something else. It just hits, hits you. Um, so the fact that the new record has the ability to make me cry is probably a good thing. Thank you.